Welcome to Aberdeen Dulling Consultants Virtual Academy. The Virtual Academy is an online training environment for the oil and gas industry which covers rig inspection, drilling equipment, dropped objects and level 2 well control training. Welcome to our fourth webisode where we will take you through dropped objects and why we as an industry need to understand their importance. Dropped objects are a major issue that applies to the majority of workplaces, whether it's a rig, onshore or offshore, a facility or even an office. Everyone should be aware of dropped objects. An oil and gas company recently surveyed said that dropped objects were the largest cause of lost time accidents, accounting for 38% last year. Dropped objects can be categorised as either static or dynamic. Static dropped objects are ones that have fallen under their own weight and dynamic dropped objects are ones that fall due to a shift in energy such as getting knocked by another object. Here we see a drill pipe racking finger falling from the fingerboard to the drill floor below. The finger is 5 kilograms and fell a total distance of 30 meters. Using a dropped objects calculator, we can see that this could easily result in a fatality if it struck someone on the drill floor. A dropped object doesn't always fall straight down. The cone of exposure includes and demonstrates where an object could fall. The cone of exposure can be affected by the height of the load, the weight of the load, the centre of gravity of the load and of course the area it falls into, which may cause the load to bounce. Wind speed and direction can also be a factor. So, how do we mitigate against the consequences of dropped objects? On rigs, we use risk assessments to define different zones. Green zones where there is little likelihood of dropped objects and will therefore often include safe routes to the driller's cabin, for instance. Orange zones, where there is some risk of dropped objects, such as pipe decks or moon pool areas. And red zones, where there is a significant risk of dropped objects, including, for instance, on the drill floor near the well centre. Some drilling contractors also define black zones into which entry is totally forbidden. Within any drops red zone, personnel must normally be required for the current operation and authorization given by the area authority. It is common practice that time spent in the red zone is minimized. Industry best practices advises that if dynamic equipment is moving overhead, then personnel move out of the red zone into a safe step back zone as soon as possible. Securing objects at height is of course very important. There are various factors and considerations regarding bolted connections, which help prevent connections and clamps becoming loose over time due to factors such as vibration and movement. Bolted connections account for approximately 80% of the primary retention methods used in reliable securing. Objects at height also require secondary securing where appropriate. This is often achieved using safety slings or netting. If the primary securing fails, the secondary securing, the net or sling, will prevent the object from falling. It should be noted that secondary tension is different from secondary securing. Secondary tension prevents loss of clamping force or displacement of fastening components. For instance, locking washers, locking wire or split pins. Maintenance is important in order to prevent dropped objects. Regular maintenance can ensure that objects at height remain securely fastened and the fastenings are fit for purpose and not damaged or becoming overly corroded. Training is an important tool in preventing dropped objects. Effective training can change attitudes towards dropped objects and raise awareness. All too often, dropped objects are the result of complacency or negligence. 
This picture was taken during a recent dropped objects inspection. Do you see the problem? A spanner has been left on the top drive. The constant movement and vibration of the top drive would make this very likely to fall. Here we see incorrect handling of tools at height, which could be caused by complacency or a lack of training. Although there is only a short distance to the bottom of the ladder, the tool has bounced through the railings and has fallen a much further distance. Regular inspection is vital for preventing dropped objects. Major structures such as the drilling derrick are usually divided into areas and levels to make inspection easier and to link any findings to a more specific area. With the introduction of new tubular handling equipment, the potential for dropped objects increases. Manufacturers are striving to prevent dropped objects with various safety measures. ADC has been requested to provide tubular handling assessments for various clients in order to ensure equipment is fit for purpose and to identify any single point human barriers within the drilling system that could result in dropped tubulars, dynamic dropped objects or equipment damage. On one inspection, it was found that the dolly retract switch and elevator tilt switch were virtually identical roll buttons on the joystick. It would be very easy to inadvertently press the left switch while intending to press the right switch. The control was always active. This could result in a tubular being bent or knocked if moved into the wrong position. An interlock was developed on the system software to prevent this happening. Another alternative considered was protective covers for the switches. There are five sections within the Understanding Dropped Objects course. Introduction, Planning, Identification and Control, Managing Potential Dropped Objects, Securing Devices and Common Faults, and Questions. Thanks for watching our webisode. If you have any questions about dropped objects or about the Virtual Academy, please get in touch.